Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The inner diameter of a circular well is given that is 3.5 meter and its depth is given that is 10 meters. This is 10 meter and this radius is 3.5 by 2 that is 1.75. Okay, we have to find the inner curved surface area, pretty easy, inner curved surface area is nothing but 2 pi r h, the values 2 into 22 by 7, r that is 1.75 into h that is 10, it comes out to be 110 meters square, first part is done. Find the cost of plastering this curved surface area at rupees 40 per meter square. That also easy. So 1 meter square cost is what? 40. So 110 meter square cost will be what? 40 into 110. And that is nothing but rupees 440. That is the answer. Pretty easy. In a hot water heating system, there is a cylindrical pipe. So there's an issue with the image, so we just ignore this. There's no base. Pipe like this, yeah. It's hollow pipe. There's a cylindrical pipe and this pipe is of length 28 meter. And diameter is 5 centimeter. So we see the meter and the centimeter all confusion. Correct. Find the total radiating surface area in the system. So five let's convert everything to meter only. So 5 uh, centimeter is nothing but 5 by 100 meter. And if you want to take the radius, we will divide this further by 2, that is 5 by 200 meter. This is the radius. Why I have done this? Because I always take radius as a convention. So we have to find the total radiating surface of the system. Assuming the width or the, yeah, this width is almost negligible. It is, assume that it is a very, it is made of a very thin sheet. Right? So, total radiating system is what? Total radiating system or total radiating surface in the system is nothing but the area of the curved surface. Right? Because it is the curved surface from where the heat gets radiated. And that is nothing but 2 pi r h. Put the values 2 into 22 by 7. R that is 5 by 200 and H that is 28 since units were all in meter it's all in meter so it is meter square okay so let's solve this values 7 this is 4 this is 100 by Four, five, 22 by 5 that is 4.4 meter square. So that is the area or the radiating surface of this system 4.4 meter square. So there were two things to understand here is first is the units were different and it was pipe. Since it was pipe you don't have to consider these two area the base and the top area. Right? It's a hollow pipe. It's hollow pipe. Okay. Please pay attention here. Little tricky question. We have to find the lateral or the curved surface area of the cylindrical petrol storage tank. So sometimes they use the lateral word here as well. When you see lateral or cylindrical surface area, you talk about the curved surface area. That's why they have mentioned all here. So pay attention to keywords here. So it's a closed 
petrol storage tank cylindrical right closed cylindrical tank that means we have both base and top diameter is 4.2 meter let's check the units meter meter okay all the units are same diameter is 4.2 meter so that is 4.2 divided by 2 that is 2.1 meter is the diameter and 4.5 meter is the height how much steel is used to make this firstly to find the lateral or the curved surface area that is pretty easy let's do that so curved surface area is nothing but 2 pi rh let's put the value here 2 into by 7 R is 2.1, H is 4.5, units is meters, it becomes meters square, you solve this, you get 59.4 meters square. One part is done. But to make the steel, actually have to find what? Total surface area. Right? Because to find the number of steels, how much is required? Because the steel is also used to make the base in the top. So total surface area is nothing but you can do this, this way, curve surface area plus 2 pi r square that is the area of the base in the top that is nothing but 59.4 plus 2 into 22 by 7 pi r is 2.1 into 2.1 so if we solve this you get 87.12 meter square now the trick starts so now you have to pay attention here See, how much steel was actually used, 1 by 12th of the steel was wasted. But we still don't know the steel, how much steel was used. So let's assume x meter square steel was used. So if x meter square steel was used, or let's suppose let me the formula total area of steel used minus wastage will be equal to total area of cylinder correct so the total area of steel uses x Wasted is what? 1 by 12 of x and this is equal to total area that is 87.12 meter square. You solve the values, this becomes 11 by 12 x and you solve the value, x comes out to be 95.04 meter square. So the actual still uses 95.04 meter square. Why? I asking you to pay attention here is it is 1 by 12 of the steel used okay it is not 1 by 12 of the total surface area please note that the wastage is not 1 by 12 of the waste surface area so in that case what we would have done was on this we would have added 1 by 12 right if the question was how much steel was used if 1 by 12 of the total surface area of the cylinder got wasted right but this is 1 by 12 of the steel used. Please pause this video for some time, spend time on this concept. Right? 1 by 12 of the steel that was wasted. The total area of the steel minus wastage is the area of the cylinder. Very, very critical uh, statement based on this question. Right? So the wastage is based on the steel used here in this case. The earlier question we had seen the wastage was on the wastage value was given on the final surface area which we already know right so we could have done 10 percent or 5 percent of this example we solved the box question where we told that there was a 5 percent overlap and the 5 percent was on this box it be easy to solve but in this case the wastage is on this area and we don't even know this area right so we have to come up with this equation let's take one more question for the cylinder a student of the school where the students of the school were asked to participate in a competition for making and decorating the pen holders in the shape of the cylinder with a base. So please note the keywords here. The keywords are cylinder and the base using cardboard. 
each pen holder and each of the pen holder was to be of radius 3 cm so this radius is 3 cm height is 10.5 cm same units the school was to supply the competitioners with the cardboard there were 35 competitioners how much cardboard was required so let's find the cardboard required for one uh, pen holder right cardboard required for one pen holder will be what it will be curved surface area that is 2 pi r h plus area of the base because it is open from the top that is pi r please understand this this formula came by reading this question 2 pi r h the curved surface area plus area of the base because the base was mentioned here okay so you put the values here it becomes 2 into 22 by 7 into r that is 3 into h 10.5 plus pi 22 by 7 r 3 into 3 you solve this you solve this so you will get some 22 by 7 into 72 that's how it is yeah that is what you will get that is centimeter square that is cardboard required for one pen, hold, pen holder now we can just multiply this cardboard required for 35 pen holders because there are 35 competitioners so that will be 35 into this value 22 by 7 into 72 and this area you solve this you get 7920 cm square this much area of the cardboard the school has to procure before the competition okay. thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also Get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.